Yes, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, world. And this is the badass. And I'm here to chronicle my journey. Um, so let's get a few things straight because today we're going to set the record straight in the Badlands. First of all, I'm known by very, a various of name. My, origina my original name is Jaboni because I'm a Rasta baby. So, according to the feedback and the comments that I'm getting, some people like to hear about the badass. Some people like to hear about Jaboni. But what you have to get clear now, there's a conflict between Jaboni and the badass because Jaboni is about righteousness as a Rasta baby, a Rasta youth growing up, going through. And badass is just a normal youth coming up in the struggle. So let me address a few things. I think so far the comments is I'm overwhelmed by the comments by a vast majority of people. I mean people is commenting right now that know me over 55 years. That's how long people so people still remember me. So like, as I said, everything start in Boswak. Boswak is what is known, the, the original name for Bakawal. And Bakawal is what is known today as the Valley Garden. And that's where everything come start from for me. Um, there's people still alive in the Valley Garden and in the world that know me from a little boy because as I said to you before I didn't come from anywhere come there I was born right there so there's people male and female that um, is loving what I'm trying to do right now one of my partner that I've been stepping with for over 55 years spoke to me at length recently and he made it clear that Bunny, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish but I know that you're not trying to bug our boss so and it means a lot to me the man that tell me this he's a doctor so you have to understand now my brethren when me and him the road he's now a psychiatrist doctor in the US. So I just want to know now. So I take the things that we are talking about lightly. Yesterday morning, my millionaire friend that I've toured the world with called me again and he st spoke to me. So you have different people that were not surprised that I am doing what I'm doing because they have it off that I should have been doing this a long time. But it took me years to get to this point and it, you know, nothing never happened before the time. Now, let's establish a few things. Me and no 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 go to school together. So me no want nobody come going like him. You want come use intellectualism to come shame me or try to say or me use my word or what. Me no want to, because you no can't shame me. Me no want to shame. Me no want to shame. You have to know now. There's no shame in my game. I will steal a penny and I will steal a pound with the same kind of pride. One man come and say, him did love Warwick a channel, challenge, um, challenge, and him surprised that him have a petty criminal. This is what the man referred to me as. I don't take it personal, because I replied to him, make him know, say, if you see me as a petty criminal, then that's good. Come learn from Christopher Columbus, Henry Morgan, and Oliver Twist. So I want 
people will know history now, understand which part me I come from. Me remember the first time we go watch Oliver Twist in a Deluxe Theatre out of Three Mile at the roundabout, yeah? Out, outside the Deluxe Paint Factory when it did so. Me go watch Oliver Twist with Mr. Fagan. And the theme of that movie was You got to pick a packet or two. They repeat that in, throughout that movie. That movie was around two and a half hours long. And they repeat that as a punchline, as a jingles. You got to pick a packet or two. And I remember. This is around 1964, somewhere down the south, we go watch that. And I remember, after we watched that movie, every little get ghetto boy start pickpocket. Pickpocket becomes the norm. Grab and flee becomes the norm. You must say grab and flee, because who couldn't pickpocket dip in your pocket and Run it with them up. So me I come through all of that. So no boy can let me say can money share me, cause me I take money from win. I me love taking money. So moving right along, one of my little sister, you know, I grew up with DNT. She DM me and tell me say, Bunny, keep it up. Now I'll give you some pump. So I still wait for the sister to give me some pump. See how she come to me? So she never come at her about not no gossip and not no gossip. So, when I like for some man, the people that know me personal, they not stop calling my phone and them they not stop remind me how things did go and things did go and things did go and things did go. So I can make a few corrections. Um, my first baby mother, me did have it have say, a room me, me take her from. And she remind me, say, no, and a room you take me from, you take me from my little brother, Tony, R.I.P. Tony. But me also know Romy. So when I want people for to know, if me a talk a thing, I don't remember how the thing did go. I do must just put it on the thing and, I will carry it and say yes, I saw it go. Because remember, say me a whole man, you know, I try to do all of this before I start to lose my mind. Because if I don't talk now, then I go start to lose my mind. I soon start to get what you call it. I'll sign them the thing with Mama, Mama, Daddy did that. Mama, Daddy did that. What do you call it? I'll sign them out. Well, this, that disease, the way your, your memory start gone, you know, remember certain things. So I try to put in the work now. And I don't remember things exactly. So no ask me for no date and time. There's a reason why I don't I don't inform for nobody. So when I talk the things then, if you was around you should know what was taking place then. So don't come ask me for you a precise date and time. I know that my depend. Now, there's a little brethren. I go call him name because him, him no him no upfront like me. So him name Michael Wright. I can't me call him a little bridging because him is a little bridging. Why him is a little bridging? Him know a thing and him know two things. So him I try go on like him know more than me. And this is not a what this is not a program now where I talk for who know more than who. This is a program where we lay in foundation that youth can learn. And most youth too nowadays, them don't learn because when them come at school, them hear too little thing and know too little thing and start run like it at the gospel. Yeah? For example, I call like you me a deal it now, cause I'm going to have to address you in order to make the record straight. Yeah, Michael. <coughs> My, yeah, Michael. 
So I don't want you to get too personal with the thing because you know, all you got to do is end up and embarrass yourself. Now Michael reply under the chronicle and he must say, Vivian did not start shoot. No, Michael, why would you why why would you say Vivian did not start shit? You quite don't say no start nothing. The way you make yourself sound, you make it sound like you have something personal against Vivian. No, me not have nothing against nobody when I go talk about, you know. So me always carry you go to school for make you know some things now. So don't come in on my conversation and don't come in on my day and don't come put yourself in a league with people like you know things. Cause you don't know nothing. Cause the youth them we are call up in my things now. Here we are go say. Black Tony and Waxy start show a passy. Waxy used, used to be from Miami and New York with curly locks. Perry by a car nephew and some other. Vivian had some of them around him. But everyone read Tony and Waxy as the boss. Killer, storyteller, and all of them was Vivian friend. Honey boy was from South, so he really was an outsider. No, I'm never stuck this up. Michael, are you are the outsider in this now? So you just expose yourself now. Are you are the outsider in this now? So come a classroom and when you, you, you know one thing you say, you know, that you go do the file for me and you realize you're original. Say so if you did hear some original man, you have to come better than that man. Come better than that. Can I go expose you now? Say so you are you are the outsider. So let me tell you something now. You have a man named Ari Kwashi. Yeah? You don't know nothing about Ari Kwashi, yeah? Ari Kwashi have four sons. Yeah? Ari Kwashi come from a South City. So I give you West Kingston history now, because you don't know nothing about the place. And like I say, I might story this. Ari Kwashi have four sons, yeah? The big son named one son. So I tell you who one son is now. Because you're not going to know this neither. One son is the first man out of the ghetto. Because the man that got foreign long before me even could not think about foreign. One son are the first man to bring a whole container of clothes from foreign. And the container where it come down a wharf. He take the whole container and carry it up a leg in the plaza and cut out the side and turn the whole container in a shop. This is the first garrison boutique. Do you know anything about that? Do you ever shop in a one son booty yet? One son is Arikwashi, big son. As I tell you, say, one, um, Ari, um, Arikwashi have four sons. You're the four son now. One son, the big son. Our next one named Cowboy. Cowboy, yeah? So cowboy come from south. But although cowboy come from south, you have to know the runnings. Cowboy come from Hopper South City because him father there, but a south him rest. Killer, the man with them call storyteller. Who named Killer? Go back, go look. And you see when Jim Brown had come out at Central Police Station, the man with handcuff pan Jim Brown, that's killer. Better known as storyteller. Now, him is Ari Kwashi, third son. Him that Jamaica right now, so a big man now go look for him. Then the little brother where you are say come from South, and you don't know nothing about the thing. A garden. Him originally come from, me no know about the south side that where you are talking about. No, me no know about that. So, me no know if you are talking about the same honey boy. But, honey boy is one son, little brother. So, let me give you some more history now. 
when me left Jamaica and when Massop left Jamaica, is one son, wife, both of us come to here in London. So you have to know the thing. The people them tell you already semi original, but you just want to run up your mouth. Now you are call these little boys name in the conversation like these little boys and and we me and in the same league. So let me tell you about these little boys now, yeah? Black Tony, Curly Locks, Perry, Waxy, they are not the generation after me. They are the second generation after me. You have to know that now. The generation after me, after me again, is you like um, Pepsi, Baxin, Baxkin, yeah? And quite a few, right? Now, you have it off now, say, a waxy, curly locks, and black tony start shower pussy. I don't know about there's something there. Because I'm going to tell you now about shower pussy. Yeah? You hear me? I don't know. We, we, first of all, I know you and Vivian are on a size. I know that. Because if me and Vivian are on a size, much less you. you, you have to know your lane when you attack these things. You can't size up with people. You hear me say, look, why? Me and Vivian and her size. Vivian and my boss. And he never boss me wrong. I tell you how Vivian becomes my boss. Cause you are say like Kilo and them and a friend. But you don't understand how the thing run. I'm going to tell you in a different things how it run. Because of how we grow, Vivian, a bigger boy for me. So when me reached New York in the 70s, me start to me tell you already, first of all, let me put you in your place now to make you know how the thing gone out. Because I talk some of the things and, and people say you done it too short. So we'll make you know the full runnings now. And then from this, you know, if you don't want to DM me and correct me, you correct me. Now, I explain the dirt is the rim among them first go and establish the level of badness so we are talking about now in our badlands. Early bird, they are foreign. Take life, Fouza, Sandy. Them you they are foreign long <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry. Them you they are foreign long before the whole away. Cause them you they actually went to school in the US. So the, them, them grew up in the US. And them bird a spangler. But bird, anybody will know bird. Bird was in a shooter. So I'm going to give it to you right now. Bird a spangler, but bird was in a shooter. Bird, ne, bird ne have no record to be no shooter. Because everybody in the in a gang, a shooter and killer. So man was in the gang because the, the gang a part of them. But them are, no, them, are, them are known as no killer and no shooter. So Bird, in my book, was no shooter and no killer. Like how oh, I try to make it now, make it look. Yeah? So I'm going to put Zeke and Bird in the same book. Or Duffy, Duffy, Duffy the big brother again. Cisco. You see, I know the whole family of the Phillips family. I know the whole of them. Because me and them grow. Zeke's is like third generation in the thing. Third generation. So, in the generation business now, yeah? Like anything else, you have the generation before me. Because I call them and them and the a generation before me. Yes. I not keep enough time in the knockings after uh, mass up buyer. And the man them because the knockings thing, so we knock it off of them. But in other knocking thing there, I don't know where they think about me, but it wasn't personal 
me tell you, one day, I'm sure you all can I use me, see? One day, I come out of Lizard Town. And I see a space scooter, space scooter and them big van we carry like a 20 man. And I see the space scooter I go up Darling Street and I come out Tony Sparling Highway, uh, 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 Lizard Town. When me look in the space cruiser, a pea sharp shooter in the space cruiser. Pea sharp shooter, I mean top shooter. Curly locks, box skin, waxy, Winnie Poop, right? Pepsi, right? I think I'll only boy. But the, 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 the van full of pea sharp shooter. But you know who was driving the van? Dana van. So you have to understand the levels now. A Dana van I drive the van. And when I look and see Dana van under the van, I said, Dana! Dana stop the van. And when Dana stop the van, I go over the van to the van and push my head in at the van and look in at the back. And the whole of the youth, the man a smile. Cause me know the youth, me know the whole of them. I mean, I look at the whole of them and I smile. And I say, Blood, God, well, I'm not having everything I read. I mean, then I want to talk and everything cool and cool. And the man, they must have looked at me like, cause enough of them are going to hear about me. And it's like the man say, wait. I saw the youth a powerful let him stop the f him tell Danavan to stop and Danavan stop I'ma come out and just a push me in the van and look and I talk to the whole of them and I laugh like a nothing. And Danavan just drive away. Right now I'm gonna pay a penny for you the conversation when Danavan when them drive away. But me know anything them I tell Danavan, Danavan I tell them say, nah man I wanna how are you that. Cause so the thing set. And next night again, and next night again, by a call, I think, by a call, I think Peridal did it. Because you, you were attack, Peridal England with me you now. And when Perry see me, Perry you now act like him see me in me you now. Because Perry know where we are come from as them, as youth, grew up. Perry grew up as little, little youth. I look up a big man like we, the time me a youth. So, when you are trying to say Tony, me tell you, when you say, say Tony and Waxy, uh, 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 and Curly Lack start shower, I mix you and mix up a thing. Because I tell you how oh, you yeah, mix up a thing now. Boom. Manicure board. So we're going back to manicure board now. Manicure board sent for curly, curly locks. Curly locks come a manicure board yard and damn yard. See the whole heap of money in them yard. Whole heap of ganja. Because like me tell you, so them time they no quote no thing yet. When him see the whole heap of ganja, him decide say me take away 100 pound of ganja and him take away 75 thousand dollar that a Brooklyn him take with that because I don't have no way to go him carry the money go a Manhattan to scholar scholar nigga Charlie Bunny Amin and the whole of them they against scholar and, and, and John Tam because John Tam and my brother-in-law, if you don't know that now, John Tam from Rima, my brother-in-law. Because John Tam's sister give my brother two beautiful daughters. Because history me ago now. So you have to know how the thing tie up. Now, when him reach upper scholar, because a money business and thing, the man them greet him with the knockings. You hear that? Because a bad man thing. And I take him take away the man where send fame at manicure board send fame. And him, him take away the man things. And the man them up and up and Manhattan. Turn on the knockings. And in at the tamarind. Police intercept. Oh, we go at jail. You hear that? 
the man them get for take away the money and the ganja from Owe. In that jail thing there, Owe get deported back to Jamaica. So in the north part, you are telling me same start, show up. Pass it. Them time there, the road around them time there, them time there, Vivian, a Vivian, a run Miami, them time there. And my son, where my son come give Egan pleasure and Barry. When Vivian come and New York for come collecting money, in that them time there, and me at the stinger. So, and me threw me their own pleasure. I end up now because him and pleasure in our dealings. So when him come round pleasure, him well safe because pleasure have me round him. Yeah? In a them time there, and me and storyteller now, a lucky place. Storyteller down there can go ask him. And me and him are the first two men. Because them time no a man from garden or there, a foreign. And how oh, I run the thing, I had stepper, but I step with anybody. So enough works. Me a storyteller. Go pan. Enough boy, I forgive me a storyteller. Holy pa money. So go ask storyteller. Because that's all we do. Walk and make boy give him money. Yeah, me not sell nothing. I tell you already, I don't sell nothing. I collect, I collect from boy. When boy see me, boy ask me, I say, man, you all right? I make sure I say, me all right. For sure, you know, say you don't know the thing now. Baggy, you, you call up a whole of them. Baggy again. Two generations after me. Yeah? Baggy end up rob one son, take a whole heap of Herb, cause herb, them time that herb man a wife for. Herb, man never wife for no cook. Herb. And one son bring in a shipment of herb. And bag them up a bronx. Take away the shipment and take away one son passport. So I want you know how tough me is now. And me and Kilo and Honey Boy aspire them time there. Them time there, you have to know now, killer and honey boy and one son, little brother. And when the thing get tech, and me them come complain to. And I say, well, I'm, well, I'm afraid to go up there. And the man them afraid. The man them afraid to go to Bronx for them brother things. And I me, you see ya, badass, me alone. Go up there. Feet. Why did I was able to go up the feet? Because them time they them the monks Pepsi. Pepsi from Gyan. Them time a Pepsi I run the route with them. Cause the man that Pepsi command them time there. So I'ma go up there. And the man them give me back give me back one son documents cause I saw the runnings go. We never we never we go up there for the man documents cause the man have to move. The man a cry say have to move. So the man never ball about where him lose. He ball about him documents. I'm a goat the feet because him brother them afraid. Storyteller can tell you I'm make a feet. So where is this thing about shower? Me already established that shower was something that manufactured by this government. So let me tell you how, how this thing I run back now the deals. If you never know. Boy like me love gun. And I don't tell myself I get beaten and kidnapped at Jamaica. So I left no gun, no time at all. Every time you see me, I have my gun. Now, you have to know how back in the 70s, how gun business go. Pan the gun. Because I want to come, tell you, a boy like you and you know, like a friend them come spoil up the one in America. You know. I want to come spoil up the one in America. You see, you see the thing about Uno, we call ourselves shower passy. I don't have no education, I don't have no sense, I don't have no learn nothing. That's why I'm the dumb that I go on and I go on right now. Because I want to try to learn how the thing supposed to run. Now, when me go to America, the first thing me do, 
I learn how the place run. So I'm going to tell you how the place run now. I have six weed house I run. Me alone. Me have six weed house I run. Mile a minute. Ask any man now where them talk they mean. When a man tell you, say, in weed house I run. Mile a minute. A summer weed house I run. Can I tell you how weed house? The criteria for your weed house. Yeah? The criteria for your weed house is that you get a, floor, a first floor apartment. Yeah? Pan a building. If the apartment, say for example, five hundred dollar a month for the rent. So that's example we have here now. Five hundred dollar a month for the rent. And you get the apartment. Once you open the weed house, the first day. You open the weed house. If the weed house don't make it rent in a one day, then it's not a good place to start business. Can you understand what I'm saying? Your rent is $500 a month. So the first day you open the weed house, you must make at least $500 that day. That means the weed house is paying for itself. Because if you make if you make five hundred dollar a day and a thirty-five uh, a thirty-one um days in a month, do the match now. If it's five hundred dollar a day, you do. Or you think turn up. And you have weed house them time that make three grand a day. So this is when we say mile a minute now how you break this down because we have to tell you the original story for sure how you come fuck up your thing how you break this down is that the police is who run the town so when the police come for radio weed house you fly your door and make him walk in when the police walk in, you have a chat with the police. In any way there, that's how the thing runs. You have a chat with the police. And the police will tell you the legal ramification how this thing can run. So the police tell me, badass, for this weed house to remain here, you will have to govern it. At no given time, you must have more than 50 50 on the premises. Meaning that if them come in at the weed house and you have 50 dime bag and 50 nickel bag, then the weed house is legal. Because from time, me and you not talk about. Weed and legality. We never need no legality because weed, weed was always legal in America. I man know that. Weed was always legal anywhere I jabone go. Yeah, my God, jabone. See? I'm about to you know. But when it comes to jabone, at a different level. So weed was always legal in New York. I am here to let you know that now. Hollywood. How we come up? Gangster. A who no come mash up gangster business. Yeah? Weed was always legal. But are you for know the legal amount of weed you can have on the premises? So I and I didn't know that. Tell um 50 nickel bag and 50 dime bag was the legal amount of weed you could have on the premises. So how we work with that now? How the, the police also explained to us if him find gun on the premises, then the weed house have to shut down. So all who know how bad boy never know this. So what we do, me did have 
me get some Doverman Pinchers dog from watching the movie Doverman Pinchers. Me realize that them dog they a sensible dog where can govern things. So me get a Doverman Pincher dog for each weed house. And the dog them is legal, I will train them. So the dog them, the dog them, if you never know this, Murray can free the dog. If you never me tell you this now, Murray can free the dog. Yeah? So when you see my work with the pit bull, pit bull are a new dog. Back in the days, a Doberman pincher around the thing. And Murray can free the, petrify a pincher's. Now, how it work now? If you have your gun at the weed house, then you're going to have, to have the gun well hidden, proper hidden. Some serious place to go after there. So how we run the thing now, we always have a car outside the weed house with X amount of car. All the thing I run, I have one pad where and this one, the stash of the weed there. And then, one man there, so all him do a bag out weed. So him a bag out 50 50. And him put them in a zip bag. And then you have a next man, all him do is drive round from weed house to weed house and drop off. Right? So, you have it one way. A man will call and say, Yo, you know what someone need a top up? So, alright, they pay my way. So, a man wait till the, the thing come down to all under 10. And him call. Forget him top up. So, if the weed done before we reach, then them, the people them know say, Yo, Ain't nothing happening right now. Break time. See? Simple break time. See? But the weed good. So, we have the best weed, because yard weed we have. A man might down the road and feel thing around too. But, yeah, Film thing I run to. But film weed no good like your weed. So film thing only run when your thing the pampas. So by the time your thing up again and running, the whole town know say, yo, one a up again. Cause one a at the start. So your thing take a dive again till one a run out again. I saw the thing run. So the so no bad mind business. Never feel like because good weed are on a thing. Now, the only time gone to my weed house are when me in the weed house. That's the only time gone to my weed house when me in my weed house. Because I govern, we are governing a thing. Now, back in them time there, if a man mess up, remember say the legal thing is 50 50. So if a man call for tap up when the thing never need no tap up and police come and find say a more than 50 50 in other house. If a four man at the house, all one man of the door is say, Gov, it's my own. That extra amount is my own. And the police would have write your ticket. Because them time that's how the, the thing run. The police write your ticket and give you and serve you a ticket to go and appear in court for the extra amount of ganja. And you go down there and you pay a fine. Likewise, with gun business. In a them time there, when police stop you with a gun, if you're the first offender, the police them write your ticket too. And them, or them, if them carry a process you, them RO you, releasing your own thing until you come back. So enough man 
So man, when you see I get dip after 30 year American thing, and yeah, man say, you know what I did have a, a charge with me did walk away. It's a gun charge with me to walk away. But then when I pay fine business, but some man show them dark and fool, them get arrow and as a post go clear up that and deal with that and thing. Him walk well left it and him keep walking. So that I'm gonna show you now how the thing did run. I already explained to you, say, from my patch, because we have come to show you how the shower pass thing was manufactured by the government. Mm -hmm. When, in a time there, no man couldn't sell no cook and no erring pan my patch. Because them time they and I govern with patch, you know. You have to know say a bad man thing. So we govern with patch. If we American fight, we would fight <laughs> because the American youth want to sell some dope on the block. Or want to sell some erring pan the block. So that's what the war was always about. The, the Rasta war with this thing here. Yes, we, we, we love guns. And we keep guns. And we talk with guns. But it wasn't nothing where Rasta a fight for sell coke or sell urine. I don't know about the thing. The cop and my black man talk about my black man when me run. They were sneaky clean, squeaky clean of our drugs. Like I said, the authority is who run the thing. So, certain man, when me get arrested, and next thing enough to know, when me get arrested, it was no American or any decent citizen of the US. It wasn't any decent citizen of the US trying to Yeah, some people keep a try calm me and I'm a thing while me attack, me think the pan thing, but I don't know why a man if a man keep a call me and I refuse him call while I'm still a try for call me right now. Come in at no call me now, make no man but my trunk my concentration. Worse me they even know the number where I call me. Yeah. Anyway. But tell her what they say, everything is Government operated. Anywhere you go in the world, anything you do, you can't do nothing with the government no know. So when me would not allow no cook or errand for sale for my block, the police them would know say, yo, no, no drugs can sell for the block because money have the black lock. And the same Rima man, garden man, I tell you no, Spangler. The same stuff and them and them start complaining to the government say, yo, you know say we can't sell no urine pan the black because bunny have a black clock down. Is them type of talk they put me a prison? If me that sell coke and hurry, and me that be the leader for the shower passy. Me, cause everything can me have it lock. When I say have it lock, me never have it lock with no yard man, you know. You have to know say. Me did integrate into the American system where me have a team of black American youth round me. Me have a team of Puerto Rican bodikas round me. Yeah? So, because of how me that function, when me get captured, why you think me can go to Jamaica or me go to Jamaica? The whole place bow and salute. You know why? When me get arrested in the DA office, them car me out of my cell and when me go in there and look, a PA man I know and go with, I testify against me. PA man from Rima, Jungle, Garden, Spangler, 
I them man there, I testify and the wickedest thing. They never tell the police and like and the DA say like a bunny that. They might tell the police say a bunny that and they might tell them the history from the barn. The night, the night when 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 the man is a spangler man call. Is a spangler man call the police for me the night. So I'm not telling you how I get captured if you know what I know. The man them tackle me. And when the man them tackle me, them try to kidnap me in America. See? I'm going knock my way out of that kidnapping there. Yeah? And after I'm knock my way out of that kidnapping there, I visit the place three times for one night and knock up the place. So a whole heap of people get knocked up. Because my head start hurt me. Because I get, I get flashback now with the in Jamaica. So now, he knock in Zan. Yeah, because them kidnapped me now. And me and my virgin Jaler. R.I.P. Jaler. Yeah, me and Jaler. Jaler, me tell you, the man them kidnapped me and disarm me. So you have to understand what happened. The man them kidnapped me and disarm me. Yeah? And have me in a bathroom. You see how much time I get kidnapped? Have me in a bathroom. And then the man say, Where you next to blood clad friend there? Eh? And I realize, oh, wait. It's a friend, it's a friendly kidnap me get. Cause it's a friendly kidnap me get, you know. And I realize now, so blood clad. What a plan to be planned for me. So when I look down, I see one of my virgin that come to pass, like my virgin, through them kidnap me having a bathroom. Kind of dance me there, you know. And them kidnap me having a bathroom. So the whole dance get panic because them the whole dance you know where I go on. I'm gonna never know where I go on. So my brethren them come in I dance, but when my brethren them come in I dance, them realize that the dance look dodgy. So them I look, them I say, oh they not see me. So one of my brethren I come now to come look down at the bathroom to see how I go on. But when me look down, me see my brethren I come, so me. I go to bam now and create a vibes and, and make a shuffling and split. But when I split, I scream and Jaleel now, Jaleel, pop it off. And Jaleel, Jaleel did pop it off. And I say, send it on. So the knocking starts and we start the knockings. Even though and me get kidnapped and I'm gone. The way we, the way we start, send it on. Them free and can't come to the bathroom. So, we send it on. I tell you no, so you know who not talk to you know. Me send it on, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna get mad. I mean I say, wait, I wanna do set me up. Try to kill me. Alright. Hold on, I got dead tonight. Hold on, I say no, hold on, I kill you all out tonight. That I wanna turn up and tell everybody. Outside I dance. Me get some mad and I say no matter of fact. Jaler, you and Kang, take a taxi and go home. Two and go home. And jump in on my car and go for two of my real blood clean bridge I'm going to go up with now. And I'm going to go for my bridge I'm going to go up with. I'm going to go in early. It's real spangler now. I'm going to go early. And when I'm going to, when I'm going to early house, I'm going to say a youth named D God. Early named Marty. So I'm going to the guard house, in the early house. I go through the door, I see a machine gun. You know the machine gun like you see Malcolm X have? I wanted that early have I'm door lean up. So I go for three now. So I'm going to the, I'm going to the house, because I ring the bell, and, and the guard let me in, because the guard know me. So he let me in. So I'm going, I say, the guard, where Martin there? He said, Martin is there now. So for them to tell me, say, Martin there now, I pick up a machine thing and say, yo, tell Martin to me about that thing and I soon come. Because that I go for. And I come back out. I go so bam, and I go back home at the place now when I get kidnapped. And when I go in there, I see some man when I know. And through I know them, I tell myself, say, I lose two guns at the place because I have only left two guns. So I tell myself, say, yo, I forget what I go in them. So I go jam them man now. Because them man, them man, I know a man way. I know so the man and I leave them things. So I go jam them man, I know. 
take with them many things. And a man in now, me just take a call and make a man know, say, yo, you know what now? Make sure you send back my two things them. You see, because it come like, me I tell a story now, I remember. Vibes car tell and them shoes them. But they never have to feel the thing right. So, me go back there. And I said, I go jam them two men now. So I'm on him, I take with them man shoes. So I'm on him, I can tell them man then now, say, yo, send back my two things them. And when I get back them two things, because to me, I run him. See? But when I jam the man them, the man them, through the man them know me, because they know me now, through them know them, start, them start going with open excitement. Before they must stand to the and take the joke. Them start going like, yo, look boy, I don't know you, you going so weird. So them start and load up on me. And the man them with the me now, they don't know them. So the man them start put it on. Can up them pussy all. So man get can up and things. So that's how the thing go. Boom. It go on and go on because like me tell us, eh, it knockings hand in me and them. But when I want to know now, so when I get captured, because I part them more and know. When I get captured, I I'm there the bookings. True, nobody don't know my virgin them, and I me them know. Them call me out. So me go out for go see where I go on. I want me go out and look. A pure garden man, top garden man too. Not them little friars with name where you call like a while. Pure top man. I go out to go see. Pure top women man. Because some women man they get knock up in the knocking store. Yeah? When we go out there, spangle out there too. You hear me say? And everybody has to sing one song. One song. The song where everybody has to sing, it make the government start wonder who this little man here is. Because everybody has to say me for God prison. Spangle has to say me for God prison. Gardner has to say me for God prison. Rima has to say me for God prison. Huh? The people have to say, wait. But you guys supposed to be the most notorious run and who not run the street. So how comes you afraid of this little man? Because I tell you nothing never know as some I think that said. And I know citizen of America send me a prison. It's God man, Rima man, and Jungle man send me a prison. And that's why. When I come out, I never trust nobody down there. Because I am still gangster. But the prison I go, you know, so every time I go to prison, I tell you already, every time I go to prison, I graduate on different levels. So at international level, I depend now. So my thing now, I couldn't come back now and, and, and depend on some little corner level now. When I when touch Jamaica, I touch Jamaica and uh, you know which cool greet me? If I tell you which school greet me, who don't believe it? The fatherless school greet me and want me to lead them. Them time they may not have nothing to lead them with car. If you lead people, if you have money, I may mean, never have no money car. I just, just come out from how I come out. I may mean, never go beg no man nothing car. I'm not a beggar. Yeah, you have to know that. I'm not a beggar. I mean, what me like beggar? I tell them all the way, me not like beggar, me not like, me not like nobody will love beggar. Me not, me not like beggar. And me not beg. Mm -hmm. So true, me never have to forget the youth, I just stand so. And I have a nephew with it up there. And I never say, uncle, no worry. When you're ready for spring, just let me know. And we set up that. So that it's seal. I'm a big daughter. It does tell me, say, Dad, when you're ready, let me know. Anything you want, anything or anything. So, you see, I have my nephew and I have my big daughter. Well, reassure me. Say, kick back, Dad, and relax. Just enjoy Jamaica. And when you're ready for spring, make me know. Because the place is ours. So, I, 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 I did something there. Now, moving right along. I tell you, so when I reach Morica, um, Rocky, 
draw me in and I pray now for me to old scholar. But while I program me, me here man a cardboard tell Rocky and me say, yo, we always take from me and I nothing. Cause you have to know which talk now. The man say, man a cardboard did and we tell you. He say, the amount of money with it in a theme house. Oh, we couldn't carry that. That me a manicured. And you see, when I'm a program, I forgot a whole scholar. This is the reason why I never got a whole scholar. That's the reason why. Because the night when we are gone, forgot a whole scholar. They never tell me, I a scholar, and I got a whole. So I go up on the rich works. But in the car, manicured about that drive. Them tell me, we are driver, Matchbox, Civil, Civil just come out them time there. So we are driving one of the latest top car in America them time there. Matchbox, Civil. I'm in it. I'm have manicured board going on my waist. Yeah? I'm here manicured board. Tell Rocky, say, the amount of money we in our house. Curly locks couldn't carry it. So the first talk when me get from Rocky, can you have to see me think now? I say, I say, Rocky, oh yeah, tell me, say, I came up on our works. I don't bring me mash that works and I go rich. But I drive with a rich man. I may have him going in my ways. So, we you there, pan? Because if a rich business they are talking about, I could jump manicured board. <laughs> you see what I think? Me, a manicured board, said the money when I'm house, or we couldn't carry it. And the money me a hunt. I want to carry me now for the whole man when I don't know. Because I never know a scholar. And I tell Rocky, say, I don't know about the man where you carry me for the whole. But me hear manicured board say the amount of money we in a him house. How he couldn't carry it and me have him gun in a my hand. So let's go see if we can carry, if we can carry this body up. Lurch guy, Rocky kind of cool. Him now answer me. And I said, to him now answer me now, me start think I say, it's the sound, right? Because money we are talking about. I mean, the man I talk say he have enough money. So when I go look money for him, he have money. And the money me want. So, the works get called off. But when the works get called off now, something else happen. When we go back, cause we go up, we go up a man at nine, the work said call off. But I mean, the work said call off, you know, because I tell you what I do, because me and Rocky go in, because I'm with mobile phone, na not dead out. So me and Rocky go in a, a candy shop for make for drop a dime. So, we show you bright them time, I'm always them time, you know. Rocky screechy, and I call Professor. Yeah? And me was able to digitally clock the number. And after him call professor, listen, him call professor and tell professor say, with the pan the corner. So we did our wait now. Which part professor say for wait? Listen, bad man thing, you know. Little boy, I you know, listen and take lesson now how the game deadly. Rocky call professor and tell him, say we there which part we there in a Harlem and him for come. So we did that with professor and can see professor. So me tell Rocky say, Rocky Mount, now buy some cigarette, I soon come. I'm going to a candy stop and dial the number now. Listen when I sit to professor. When I dial the number, I sit to professor say, 
star. I just come a far in a star. I don't know where I go on, you know. Some man can come here for come take your food, you know. But I don't know where I go on, you know. You know, the professor tell me, say, star. I circle the black already and so you now. And I when I say you, I call off the it. To you what the man say, the man say, while we did our wait for him, him circle the black already. And see we and call a fiend it team. Cause I'm done no so I hit them come for it him. And him call off him it team because he say me. He say ass, here we do. No watch no face. A man him come check me. That the man tell me. He say, alright. On the way back to Brooklyn now, here man the cardboard. The rat smell the trap. <laughs> the rat smell the trap. But while I say that, them disarm me. Yeah, I don't have no gun, them disarm me. Because for some reason, I don't know how them, them pick it up, so I must me tip off professor. So them disarm me. So I don't watch nothing. Right, right. Manicure boy drop way off. So when him drop way off now, boom. My daddy, with Rocky, and Rocky, did the pan. You don't know worry, man, we're going to hold him, man. So, my daddy, I'm going to sleep. The man, you know, I'm going to wake up now and take a train by myself and go up at the million dollar corner now. You see, I'm going to go up there and go in the house. I'm going to see Professor Carrie Lord. Nigga Charlie, I mean, John Tam, and some more. But the pay top, we my 13 man, them, you know, in the house. And the man, them, now nah, smiling me, neither, you know, because the man, them, don't know the, the knockings over go through a yard. So the man, now nah, smiling me. Even John Tam, even though me and John Tam are brother in law, Jack. Him nah smile at me. You know him do now. Him call him sister and tell him sister say, yo, tell the one bunny, you know. Say anytime him come here, you know. I'm professor not there, you know. We are gonna knock him over, you know. You hear that? So them can't knock me over because a professor, the big man. So here we got now. When we go to the house. I see them, I tell, me tell Professor a Star, I don't know what I'm going on, I just come up running on. I saw the man dealing me, you know. They all disarm me, you know. When me tell Professor say them disarm me, blood fire. I'm going to tell you now big man run things now. I see around 30 suitcases in the front room, you know. Full a ganja car. Shipment just come, that's why it's much money at the house for protect the thing. Yeah? Just come from Miami, dirt on the top. So, when I tell him, say, them disarm me, the man go for a different suitcase and come and drop on my foot and open it. You see, when the man opened the suitcase, a pea gun in that suitcase there. I mean, I tell you now, I tell you about gun, because he forced me to see gun on the level there, because you know, I just come a foreign. I talk about gun in a. If you never. Most bad boy never. Most of the local boy never see a brand new gun yet. And how brand new gun come. So I tell you how brand new gun come. The gun them in a it case. The gun them not in them case. Yeah? Like you buy a toy. The gun not the case. And when you open, when you open the case, it's like it's like this. The gun not case like this. And when you open it, it wrap up in a shamai. Well grease up. So before you can use the gun, you have to take some time 
to clean off the, the wax or the grease off of the gun. Clean it off. So, when I open the suitcase and show me the gun, them, I take out a double action 16 shooter. Smile and then I say, that you like? I say, yeah, man. I may have that now, see? So, Professor said, Let's go on the town. And me and Professor walk from Upper St. Nicholas and 125th. Go straight down. So anybody who knows Harlem knows 125th Street in Harlem. It's like a main turf street. We go straight downtown. I can't forget the day because how it did run while me and Professor go down at 125th Street. Everything that me see and like it, Professor buy me it. Cause a rich thing, you know. A virgin, glad to see me. Anything me see and like it, he buy it for me. And then, in Carmina, in, when we reach down at I own a one, a far, a far fifth. We reaching a forty dose. We reaching a forty dose. Don't have the worst strip part. The, 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 we call it the, the night life section. The man start came in at some peep show. If you go look up in at some pum pum and all these things and watch man a fuck girl and all these things. Cause a freaky place for them now and. I can't go on in a, in a place where I pay a pretty girl there. I say, well, I'm not saying I want some pussy. I say, well, I'm easy still, you know. See? So we, we enjoy the town that way there. And then we split company and we head back to Brooklyn. But knowing me now, when me <laughs> go into the house with Rocky, me tell Rocky, say, yo, I'm going to look for Professor today you now. Yeah, man, I made my nice time on the town. And then I just back the beret and say, yo! And him give me this. So I'm my own gun now. So I'm my own gun now. The, the old town, the old town of Quat now, because I'm a thing now, and Rocky now, I'm a thing now. So Rocky kind of talk to me different now, you know? So that one. And like I tell you, I'm my own gun now, so I'm a killer, I'm a spar. Me a spar. Respect goes out to man like, come if I tell you this again to you know. When we reach America, them time they, they have a set of youth from Ray Town, call themselves the untouchable, which is, um, may I get old, so you know, Delroy, soon tell you who to lead them. But when well, I remember them, I remember Bongo. And when, now them time they a bongo and them a tie up in a all kind of knackings. Bongo and them in a the knackings. I mean, proper knackings. And bongo I take them on. I don't know where them and bongo they have, but bongo take them on. But I'm tell you now, how we get involved in the world. Because bongo a bongo. Bongo father has power with me. Hear that? Bongo father spar with we. So bigger man has spar with we now. Cause we come at a different place now with Bongo Father. Love we. Cause to all we to all we move, you know, big man, big man ever love we. That's a difference between them youth and now. They meet and make big man love them. In a my time, anyone got big people love me. Cause I just have that about me. Me make big people feel comfortable. Me no make big people feel uncomfortable. Go with me. So I me and Bongo Father, I step with a next big man named Ray Downey Rex. And then big man, they know we are stepping. Come ever step with big man. So through that now, the link make with Bongo. But what now? The ad steppers, for some reason, Bongo, and him had a sting at them time there. And him a take on the touchy. Him and him team. But then, for some, through Bongo is a raster, Bongo 
and we link. And I think what now? Labor Day. Labor Day, you, the time the shower pass, never even a dream about it. So I'm going to tell you about the ad stepper now, because Bongo ad stepper. Yeah? The, the Labor part, the, the, the Labor Day parade used to go on for 48 hours. 48 hours. Labor Day party used to go on for. In a them time, they wouldn't have known how to. We as rude youth, we never used to wear jeans. We never used to dress like how we said make a boy a dress. Mm -mm. When you say we'll be proper decent, tailor made suit we are wear. Yeah? And I think 79 Labor Day party. Yeah, 79 Labor Day party. The whole away, they pan the parkway. Them time the, the party are going 48 hours non stop. It's like how carnival used to go on over here. No, carnival never go on over here upon a level. Mm -mm. Me I talk about Labor Day party used to go on. All over America will remember when Labor Day party used to go on for 48 hours non stop. The whole weekend. Me and my team are who stop that. Bongo was the originator. We not take nothing from no man. Bongo. Because I say I can't get my rating if I not give the people them, them ratings. When I go to America, pan the gong, and Bongo I run the place. Because Bongo them go to school and grow up in America. Them I run the place. And for some reason, the, you have a group with name the Untouchables. A yardman group from Raytown named Untouchables. And Bongo and Fiend, the whole of them got a school in America. So them are the real original. You hear me say? Them youth are the real original, original rude youth. Upon the ground, because them got a school in America. So when we reach, as I say, a bongo, I bring you knockings to the touchy. And how we get involved in the knockings now. Upon the parkway, 79, we're upon the parkway and we are all off out of Nastran and Eastern Parkway. That's how we are all off. As that steppers. So around, not the crew that did it, was around 30 away or more in the crew. I'm mean, talking about every man clean like a whistle. Three piece suit, dung, clean, keep me, kill me. Them times they we clean to the metal. Some boy clean to the bone, we clean to the metal. Different talk we are telling about clean to the metal. That means every man. Heavy, heavy like lead. So, part the, the park we boom, and everything hop, float a guan and thing a guan, and a one touchy, card a one touchy, a float in the crowd, and float up, pan we. So we, so we don't know him no. Can't you we had step out, we come just come as far in. We are just bad boy, we don't know nobody, we just did it. But every man did it. So Bongo, I who know him. Blue teeth. So he walk up in a bongo. He dread walk up in a bongo. So when Bongo see him, Bongo just drape him. But when Bongo drape him, he a shuffle and I try to get the from Bongo. But all my shuffle, Bongo, Bongo I reach for that. But oh Bongo I reach for that, the man with the behind Bongo, which I want to hear that, you know. Pop it off. 
and when him pop it off, him slap it. But when him slap it, him slap it in a bongo. Blood clot. <laughs> Yo, it like that look at thing like a real, real drama. Because bongo drape the brother, and the brother have him two one. A fight off Bongo and a out time waste. While him a fight off Bongo and Bongo a draw a theme thing off him hip. While Bongo a draw a theme thing off him hip. And next man a, a release theme thing. And in a struggle between Bongo and this brother. Can I even know the brother name? And we slap it off first, but the first slap was with boss. And in a Bongo it boss. So me and Bongo said, blood clot. I start up. So you see when Bongo start up, just vision will not tell you now. When Bongo start up, the whole eye and eye, the 30 eye and eye, pop it off. Ooh. I, I think this is the first time. Let me try to describe this to you. You see a movie called St. Valentine Massacre. Well, that movie there, you know, have nothing to happen that day. You see, when the 30 are awake, pop it off, the whole are we start slap it. Half of the brother, where Bongo the drip. But imagine you in a crowd with around 10,000 people, like in a carnival. When we start slap it, I see people are drop like rain to blood clot. I say bomba clot. Yeah? And the brother run in a crowd of people and the nice, the knocking still a knock on him. And he said that, that is what changed the history of yard man gang history. This is something that I don't know nothing about them to talk about this, but me are telling about the story now. We change. I know the show of thing change the history of America. They shooting from the park up here. Immediately, tell you, 500 police stand up and watch we do that. Them time the police, you have to understand one time how America run. One time, America police never run in from people. You have to understand how the law of America run. Tell you how the law of America run. When I left my gun, no time at all. I'm never afraid of police. Me and police don't have no encounter. Police only can approach you when somebody send them for you. So when me hear say police shoot down people and police do these things, it no fears me, can me know how the street run. Police na see you. I tell you, if you are driving down the street in America, no policeman na just see you through your black and tab or pull over. I know so it go. Anytime a police tell you for pull over, something wrong with your car, that him to say something wrong with your car, or Somebody call him and tell him, give him your car number and tell him something about you. That's how police pull you over. Me don't know about now, but in my time in America, so police pull you over. Come and show you. Me and our widows one time at Queens. Here? And the owner of the building want to get them out of the building. Yeah? So there's a kind of hostility in the building. So, I decide say, me I go move neatly out of the building. I remember one Saturday, I me me move. But how oh, I move, because through the, all the things, like the vibes, I move, but I come down the stairs with a, a box in my hand, a big box. But my gun in my hand, under the box. And the police are coming out of the building to come up by the weed house. So me and the police meet on the step. My gun under the box, can I hold the box? And I have the box I talk to the police. 
I'm not telling the police, the officer, everything is okay, because as you can see, I'm moving. <laughs> I'm going to me, you know. I'm not telling the police, officer, everything is okay. We're finally moving. And the officer just relax. Can him see me I move. No, he never tell me to search my thing. Can I cooperate? So I just walk past him and go put the box in my car and left him go down and come back and go and move. You see how easy it is? So I tell you, police now approach you. Back them time. I don't know if you know. I don't know. I don't know about police that target people. And I know someone left my gun no time at all and police never stop me. Because you're the gun business going them time. I don't know police that kill you. I don't know, I can't relate to that. Back in the time, what I tell you about, if police stop you and you have a gun on you, he may either give you a ticket, and if you have a, a, say, you're not a first offender, then he carry down to the precinct, Charge you and the kind of conviction in getting called RO. So, how me to travel any given day if police stop me, me can bail myself out because I have enough money to bail myself out for my gun. So, it, gun is a problem if you are walking, gonna earn you know, no money to bail yourself out. So, I don't know that something there. But getting back now to the parkway. <coughs> After we do what we do that day there. Yeah? Somehow, all of us, don't ask me how now, but all of us that was on that parkway, I remember at some stage, all of us end up on Rockers Island. All of us end up on Rockers Island. So, when we're at Rockers Island, are we the at step of the whole away the Rockers Island? You name it, the whole away. Rakai, Bongo, Delimax, Fisherman. This is Fisherman from South, Alvin Fisher. Um, Rakai, which is Nizi. Name it. The whole away to Rakas Island. So I'm soon, uh, them time the black tone of the Rakas Island to be too. So I'm soon get back to that segment there. But moving right along. After me and Professor Link now. One day I come to my corner, the 31st. And when I come to my corner, because I the man like come to the corner first thing in the morning. So I go to the corner and I have my gun in a, a brown bag. But the brown bag, because I don't know if nobody has pre me or nothing. So I have the gun in a brown bag. And me have the brown bag put on said I'm a rubber sheep. But me stand up pretty close to my gun still, but me just easy. Early morning, you know. Nah, I take my early morning check. So I did it. So I look. I say Jaboops. So Jaboops now. I'm a brethren now. I'm tell you, say, I go with that thing. So Boom. When I see Jaboops, Jaboops, blood up. Early man, I see Jaboops, blood up. So I say, Jaboops, what now? Yeah? And he replied to me, I say, You know, I just land at the place. You the man say, The man say, I just land at the place in our ship belly. And I up in the 90s and some rats try to take away. My weed. And I say, eh, you know I have no gun. He said, no. Let me show you how man moving up. The man tell me, say, some man in just land another place in our ship belly. Here him come America, in our ship belly. And him come with a shipment 
a ganja and him up in the nineties some ras try take away him ganja and him broke him ratchet in a one of them. I saw coming blood up. I'm saying hey, you know I have no gun and him say no I'm say to him say you see that brown bag there? I'm going to night. Take it. See that? I threw him tell me same of him ganja and thing, you know. I'm going to want him to defend him thing. I just say, say I'm going to go another bone bag. Take it. You see what I tell him, say, take the bone bag with my gun. He replied to me and say, you see the black rubbish bag there? A hundred pound a weed night. Carry it, go sell it for me and you. See that? You see how man deal? So now, at the first, me I get a hundred pound of weed now. I mean, I know. We if do the hundred pound of weed now? Me have a hundred pound of weed. A man, give me a hundred pound of yard weed. I mean, I know. What if do with it? Them time, the yard weed I sell for four hundred and fifty dollar a pound. And a man, give me a hundred pound night and say, if you go sell it. So me call scholar now up at Harlem, cause them man they are the big player, cause they mess with big things. And I say, yo, scholar, me have a hundred pieces of the thing just come from yard, you know. So here my one you don't know no. Me I come drop it off pan yo. Because like me say them time we that selfie, four fifty. So me tell him say, me I come drop it off pan yo. At three fifty, you see that? Boopy tell me say me fi knock it out. Come, me say me have a whole shipment, you know. Boopy tell me say me fi knock it out at two fifty. Car a quick seal, small profit, but it go add up because the shipment them have. Because me have gonna knock out a hundred pound a weed at two fifty. Do the match span that. And when me knock out that, he might go bust that with me and him in two. Yeah? But me now tell the professor, so I give me that 350. And the professor go knock it at 450. So I go so bam, I'm going to carry the weed, go up, professor. And I give him the weed. Alright? I'm going to share about bad mind thing now. So, them time there, I spar with a brother named Leroy Pratt. Big man again for me. But him come from Luke Lane. And him dead one of my family too. So my family. So, I left the weed with Professor. And I go so boom now. So one day I go check for my, my weed thing now. And I tell Pratt to follow me to Harlem. So I go up to Harlem. Me and Pratt and going to the base. Pratt see when a film baby mother, brother, in the team, the Harlem team. So I link me now with him Pratt can go there now without me. See how the thing go? So when we go up now, through the link now, and the food, because them man that run the food business them time there, you know. So Pratt start going now for food without me. Because me now go there for food, you know. Me, me, me carry food go there. So Pratt go up the one time without me you now. And guess what Pratt go up the other? Sit down for my name. Can you imagine? The man go up there tell the man them say, Yo. I ah, said, no boy, I want to pet you know. Because when the man did die, yeah, the pain knockings the man did in with the man, you know. Me, me, me tell you, say, when I go up there the first time, the man, them see me and don't pray, say, anytime me come there and scold another day, they're going to knock me over. But me never pay that no man because they can't knock me over because they not. They, me and Professor, so tight, them can't knock me over. All right. So, moving along now, Professor said, if come for the money, 
Like him say, come for the money Friday night. So I decide, say, I'm going to check him Friday night. So when I go check him Friday night, he might tell me, say, you know what, say, some money for coming, but not coming yet. But we hear what Check me tomorrow. And everything's supposed to tie up. See? But then he said to me, say, that thing they ask, when we did gear, you have it? And I said, yeah. He said, I'm going to need it, you know. So I said, all right. <laughs> all right, you're going to need it. So I'm back to the game. I'm gone. But when I'm gone, I start priest the blood clot. Something right that's up. And him arms me. I know him disarm me. So I said, all right. But I'm easy car. Them time, them instinct. Chipping, you know. So the morning now, the next the Saturday now, me call. But me call him house now. I'm girl answer the phone. So you have to know when man a chump you have to know how sometimes some man may call them woman chump you have. So I make look a young boy know how the chump off thing go. So when I call a woman answer the phone and this is what a woman said to me. Yo, B, you know, so the man them go up on the works last night and a whole heap of knockings go on and right now it's like all things get missed up and things get missed up and all them things. I said, the woman talk to me now. So hear me on the phone now. Eh, Silasi. Mmm. I saw. Yeah. But a chump, she a chump me off, you know. But oh, she a talk to me. She a expect me to say to her, yo, me don't want to hear that. You can't tell me that. But me know she a chump, she a chump me off, I tell me about things get taken and way, way, take your knockings and this. Intimidate and tell me. So me just step on, eh, see, see, cho. And when me done talk to her, me realize, say, ass, if you go up all of my daddy, I got it, you know. Because a woman not supposed to attack to you, them way, them, from bad, not the bad, not the bad lands. Come like the man, I'm listen to the phone for you, I'm the answer. But it was easy. So, them time, the man the board, because I tell you how bad man thing was. Them time, the man the board, have a weed house where I run mile a minute in a bush week. See? And, them time they'd, they'd have some police at the end of them. The cowboys. Yeah, the cowboys. The team of police. They, them police are bad boy police too, you know. So them police, they know. Some man go. Some man go for. Rob manicured board. Weed house. And some knockings go on there, so. And in the knockings, the landlord get knocked over and two men get knocked out. The house and that investigation, the place chalk out, body chalk out and all these things. But the house still a run. You know what I say? We're in at the weed house. Police are chalk out, man, body in the weed house. And we still a run blood cleat weed through the door. Cause business that go and see them where. Police are do them business and we are do our business. So it a run. So, why me did they call it my tell us to eat and I saw so we have anything, you know? So, why me did they know? Jaboops are pre me now. Cause you jaboops are pre me now. Jaboops are tell me now, say, yo, B. Oh, me can't get money from you. And me I say, you know, so the man I tell me say, this go on and that go on. And Jaboops say, yo, can't tell me that. You know what? Here we go for me, B. Can I go to Harlem? Let me go for my money. Because the boy can't tell me that when I tell you. So I realize now, say, the eat is hard now, because boobs are put the eat for me to now, and boob, boobs start talking to me now, you know, like, if I know, if you know, can I go to Harlem? Come like a young the man, them rob me. So it gone. So now, 
My mind a pray now. I say blood clot. Me and your boobs grow. And me and scholar grow. And right now some ganja come between the goings. Right now, your boobs have said me for can go. I all them for go knock over scholar. I'm a can do that. So me tell myself, say blood clot. I can't do that. Mm. So I decide to say, I do that. So when I say, I do that now, the boob start pre now, say, so if I do that, then be a you have my things then. And your friend will take on my things. So I drive, and it a play on my mind. It a play on my mind to the point where I let me dip on stoplight and the light change. I mean, I sit. So I just tell myself, say, you know something? I mean, I just sit down. I just drive to the airport, come out of my car, and got a ticket this. And buy a one way ticket back to England. So I come back to England now and fall. Proper fall. I don't know what to do. I remember telling her my first baby mother a bad girl. Them times that she had run the road now. And I come full upon the hour. Can you imagine that? I come full upon the hour. And she had run the road now. And pay liberty start take with me now. Because she had take liberty with me. But she now remember that part of the thing. You know. Oh, she had take liberty with me. I just humbly you now. And every day she get up, she just start look at me and say, me I'll show you some face to talk. Because sometimes some woman put some pressure on a man, you know. Here she wake up and look at me and tell me, say, but look at you. You come a foreign, come to an idiot. No foreign yard woman, I know them talk. The woman look at me and say, look at you. Come a, we, we are do a foreign. You come a foreign, come to an idiot. All some little boy now who I talk to you couldn't talk to you at Jamaica. Look, you have to run away from America through some little idiot boy. And every day if you're around six months, that's all me I hear in my ears every time I wake up. And that little man across me and I tell me, say, where you left Jamaica for? To come and find Contoni that. So my daddy, I hear it and I hear it and I hear it and I hear it and I wake up and I hear it and we go through and I hear it. And I just wake up one morning, you know. I don't know if that dream I get out one, but I just wake up, you know, and stretch. I just stretch and look at my and say to her, I say, You see me? They don't know what's in a boy in a bad like me. That I say to her, I say, and she skin her teeth. I say, Babes, may I go back to America, you know? Anything or anything, you know? You don't know some boy in a bad like me. He said, I tell her that. She said, true. And I'm going to tell her my baby mother, though. Because star woman. When I tell her some boy in a bad like me, I'm going to go back to America. She get up and she run go down to one pawn shop. And she pawn off the whole of her them. Yeah? And bring your money, come give me. And say, go on back to America. You say, me get the money. Me go shop for me and Jaboops. Listen, they say, no. Me go shop for me and Jaboops. So, I buy everything I buy for myself, I buy for him too. And I go to so BAM and go to E2. And buy a one way ticket back to America. And you see, when I land in America, I flag down my taxi. Them time I reach for a boobs there, no. I flag, I flag down my taxi and tell the taxi to carry me from my car at East 31st and Church. Yeah? And the taxi came from the airport straight at East 31st and Church. And when I, when I come from the car, I see the man them. But oh, oh, I see the man them. 
Kasoma eno. Mi das kompa na kana. And us. Mi das kompa na kiabino. Mi das say, yo! Anybody knows about the, the above slave? And the man them say, yeah man! Up a 96 sound wind trap. And me just tell the taxi man say, drop me a 96 sound wind trap. I come out of the taxi. Go ease the pound of mouth out there. Go ease the pound of mouth out there. So, I go so bam. And when I reach, when I reach 96 sound wind trap, I pay, I pay, I pay the taxi man $25 from the airport to him drop me. When I come out, I say, Mr. Jaboops on the corner, Jaboops grin him teeth and laugh. And I go upstairs. Soon come back. <laughs>